the pros and cons of the new Pixel 5 fabric case in basically black. Hey s'mores, I'm Shannon Morse. Welcome to Morse Code. And yes, I do have brand new purple and blue and teal mermaid hair. Thank you for noticing. I appreciate you. The Google Pixel 5 recently came out and Team Pixel sent me the phone, the Pixel Buds, and this fabric case for my phone review. But I figured that y'all might want to know about this case too, so here's a quick little video review for you. But before I delve into this quick review, I have got three more Hack Shop gift cards to give away. Yay! So you can get a free Wi-Fi Pineapple Mark 7 and free U.S. shipping. Just make sure to subscribe to my channel, comment on this video to enter to win the Wi-Fi Pineapple Mark 7. Winners will be chosen one week from this video posting and full giveaway details are linked down below. Now for this case because it's a $40 case. It comes in green chameleon, blue confetti, static gray, and this one, which is basically black. I love color with phones, so I do like the aesthetic of the blue and the gray ones over this black one. So here's the really cool part on this and why I do like supporting this brand. Google has started using lots of recycled materials in their tech products and accessories, not just these. And I like trying to be environmentally friendly with my purchases and with where I put my wallet. Now this fabric case in particular is made out of recycled plastic water bottles, with 70% of it being made out of recycled materials, including polyester and polycarbonate. Also, it's machine washable! And that's a plus because fabric cases often get really dirty really fast and you can't just wipe them down. Oils from your skin, lotion, makeup whenever you're holding the phone up to your face, all of that rubs off onto the fabric case and can make it look kind of grimy, so throwing it in the washer makes it look brand new longer. Now I don't recommend drying it, I would just lay it out to air dry. <laughs> Just keep that in mind. This case is also very thin and very lightweight. It's only 25 grams to be precise with very little Google branding, just that little G on the outside. The fabric is really soft to touch and it's comfortable to hold since it's curved on the edges so nothing pokes you in your hand. The interior of the case is also soft so it's not going to scratch up the back of your phone, which I really wouldn't worry about anyway because the back of the phone is this nice poly resin anyway. Now the case just snaps easily into place on your picture. 5 and it covers all of the edges with a large cutout on the bottom for the USB-C charger and the speaker grill. It does not add bulk and the lip framing the display is only a teeny tiny bit higher than the display itself. It's enough to protect it but not enough to mess up swiping from the edges. I literally had zero issues using the phone when it's in this case and it makes it a little bit easier to hold since the fabric does add some grippiness. There is no bump around the lenses so it doesn't cause any kind of lens flares or any kind of shadows whenever you take photos with the rear camera and since the fingerprint sensor on the back is so very smooth having the case on also makes it a little bit easier to find that sensor without looking and if you like to use the sensor to swipe down to the settings menu you can still do it in fact I tested it with no issues and I have long nails so I was kind of surprised that it still works so well the buttons are fully covered, so it does change the tactile feedback you get whenever you press down on those buttons, but it's only a minimal difference. They are hard plastic covers and they fit perfectly over the buttons, so I had no issues there either. And lastly, yes, I know some folks are wondering about this. It still works with all of my chargers, including my Nomad charger and the Pixel one. And yes, you can still use the wireless battery sharing through the case as well. So what do you think of the Pixel 5 cases that are out there. Are there any other cases you want me to review for the Pixel 5? Let me know in the comments below. I would be more than happy to check them out for you. Thanks again to my s'mores for subscribing and watching. I'm Shannon Morse and I will see you soon. Bye y'all.